Welcome, dear viewers, wherever you are, to Wintergata Wednesdays. Today I'm going to assemble something really exciting. 22 marble drops for the 11 vibraphone plates. I'm going to go about this project in an organized, step-by-step -step way. So both the test releases and the PMA pipes are gone and we have a clean slate and I can start with the actual releases. So these beauties have been manufactured by Marius. So he has made long ones to go on the bottom and short ones to go on the top. However, I've changed my mind regarding this design. So what I realized that instead by only having three metal wires coming down, the two marbles can share the middle metal wire and we can have them closer to each other and guide the marbles better to hit the same hit points. I remember having a little bit bad conscience about this when I was going to tell Marius, but when I told him, he said, well, that's engineering. Whenever there's a better solution on the table, that's the one we should go for. So he showed a lot of good engineering heart there. <laughs> so I have a stick to measure the height here for the marble drop at the drums, and this length is perfect. We're actually hitting right here. So check the height with the stick, drop the marble from there. That's actually perfect. Hits the aluminum pipe straight on. So if there's any kids watching, this is one of the good things with becoming a grown-up. You can screw into your own table. Making some use of Wilson here. He loves to help. All the way in, holding close to the edge, bending down to Wilson. So I get perfect bends with no measuring and no guesswork. That was like there, from the other position. It's like there. They're touching each other. I need to pull this one a little bit out. Better, better, awesome. So we have another problem. You can see that the marble is falling through here. I have to tighten up the gap with here. Yeah, better. Now I need to cut off some excess here on the back side. Oh, don't you hate when your cordless sticks in your demagnetizer wheel? <laughs> right now, if I check the height gauge and I drop this, that is perfect and that is perfect, but the marbles are interacting with each other. I have to create more space here. So what I'm doing is I'm just slightly bending this out, slightly bending this out. Okay, now they're clearing each other. I want them to hit a little bit more towards the center. What I can do then is that I can just angle this a little bit inwards. Now the marbles are interacting. <laughs> Oh yeah, two channels done. Now I'm just going to plow through all of this and then we're done with the below layer. So I can finally dismantle this template. So now I need to create the top ceiling to constrain the marbles from flying out when they're charged. And the angle looks good. So I want these to run parallel here and here. I have to make sure that the marble can't escape anywhere. So I'm starting with a bend straight down. Not a chance in the world for the marble to pass through here.
third, fourth, Awesome, they all work. Now we can start with the fingers that are opening to release the marble. Now I need to source material for 22 of this package. So the only piece missing here now is around the back marble gate. Before I'm going to attach all these 22, I'm going to manufacture the 22 marble gates. I think I say manufacture to sound cool, I should just say make. <laughs> Quarter to six. Let's see how long time a stupid small little step like this will take me. Almost one hour just to clean these pieces. Twenty-two around the back marble gates are welded on. And I got better and better at doing this weld. I'm actually happy with how they turned out. Let's see if they actually work. That's all fine. And now I'm gonna leave it open. The marble is staying on the, around the back marble gate. I didn't tune this one yet. Wow, <laughs> okay. Perfect timing. So typically when I get close to finish line, I slow down. But now I'm gonna try to muster my last energy because this was a lot of work to finish all these marble drops. Here I'm bending the metal fingers for all the 22 marble releases. And I'm running back and forth between the marble machine X and the vise. And when I'm happy with them, I run downstairs, I drill them and I tap them and I mount the finger with around the back marble gate on. Marble is locked. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. More sustain. Less sustain. Yes. I'm gonna do a very rough adjustment of the musical timing of each vibraphone note. So I made a test program where I'm gonna drop marble on the kick drum and on same note at the same time. So that one is late, that one is dead on. Well, that one is, it's actually tight. So let me demonstrate the three different ways I can adjust the timing of this particular marble. So number one is in and out of this position, bending it out a little bit with hand. Second adjustment possibility is up and down like this. I can loosen these screws and then I can slide the whole dropper up and down like so. Obviously increasing and decreasing the distance between the marble and the vibraphone plate. So these are 0.1 millimeter thin shims. These shims are applied on the back side of the machine. So we want this tone to be later. We can just add 0.3 millimeter. 
So the shims will now move the plastic thing at an extremely controlled distance and the programming pins will hit it later. This channel is still early. I am not going to give up until this plays beautiful music and sounds good. I will make it work. I have to make it work. Whatever it takes. Ah, it was better. <laughs> Welcome to the plot twist. We need to talk. This is a talking chair. Every time you see me putting the talking chair out, you know things are about to get serious. Uh, I'm going to redo all this. <laughs> I'm going to start over. Bear with me, this is actually great. I've been fighting to get these vibraphone drops there and I was fighting the week before in last week's video with this compromise between hitting the center of the vibraphone plate or lower on the vibraphone plate. And then I was working on these things and yesterday I finished them. But then I heard from Richard that there was a lot of people saying on the last video that I didn't have to do the compromise, that I can just shift the plates. When we designed the holders, we had this assumption that the marble should hit the middle of the plate. So when this information came from the brilliant commentary field that we could hit off center, I tried to make a system with this compromise without thinking of the fact that we could actually redo these holders because these holders were so much work. So I just thought they are set in stone. How can I solve this? And now I realized that I can actually manipulate these holders, shift only the plate and have everything in a straight line and have good sound on all vibraphone plates. Thanks again to you guys who are making amazing commentaries pointing out what we have missed. It's not really awesome to spend one and a half week crazy building something that you have to redo, but I'm really used to that and I'm actually good at starting over. So <laughs> I'm not so interested in this machine if it doesn't play good music. It's, I had this discussion with a lot of people, can't you just make it simpler? And uh, no one did this before actually, just any music animated it, but no one, no one got good sound out of a vibraphone with marbles. It's like uncharted territory that we're exploring <laughs> together. And I'm honestly like embarrassed that it takes so, so long time. But I'm also really, really proud that you are making this machine better, pointing out the obvious things that we who are so deep into details and make other kind of assumptions, we miss those kind of low hanging fruit. I don't know how many percentages of you at home there just thinks that I've totally lost it. And uh, I lost it for like one and a half year ago. <laughs> if that's not obvious to you, then you have not been watching. I'm in shock and I'm in awe and I'm excited and I'm also scared. Uh, I'm scared of never finishing this ever. Uh, but I know that I, I can't. I can't like, it's like you have a great song, but bad lyrics, you know, or you have a great drummer, but a bad singer. We can't have a, like a great drummer in the band and the singer is not really up to snuff, you know, <laughs> this is the singer. I have no clue if this is going to be a popular or unpopular decision. <laughs> and I actually don't care. I know I love it.